Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Friday, uh, September 23rd, I believe. And um, yesterday was the first day of fall, and we are in fall. And somehow the weather went, went from being like in the 90s to being in the 60s, 70s in a matter of days. A couple days I think and it's crazy but it's just in time because today I'm going pumpkin patching and I wanted to start the weekend vlog here. Um, I also have some um, clothes that I bought from Revolt. I've been to unbox this for like a week now. I just had it in my kitchen and I've been lazy because I've been so busy making my other vlog. Um, I was making the the sportswear vlog or the gym fit vlog that you'll see is like the haul of all the stuff that i bought for the gym all the outfits and they're so freaking cute so go check it out if you haven't yet um so today we're going to the pumpkin patch i'm taking my little cousins and i wanted to start a vlog here and um we're gonna go to washington dc tomorrow so i was supposed to go to chicago this weekend but one of my girlfriends canceled on, on me and my other girlfriend so we decided to, you know what, just, just stay. We don't have to go because Southwest is very like um, good with like changing your trips. So we canceled our trip and we're just gonna go to Washington DC and stay at the, this really nice hotel called um, Intercontinental at the Wharf, which is like waterfront hotel. So it's gonna be really nice. We're gonna have dinner at this really cute Spanish place. So I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, so that's the plans for the weekend. Um, oh my god, so what happened to me the other day at the gym, I was in the sauna, this was literally on Wednesday night, I have to tell you this, so I can update you. Um, so I was in the sauna, and you know, you have to like step up to, so if you want, you can sit on the, at the bottom, I guess, but you, you could also step up and sit at the top. Anyways, I'm like six feet one, and this sauna is literally a shoebox. Step out, and... I hit my head with something. I thought it was just the ceiling. So then I started seeing blood running through my, my face. And I looked and it's all bloody. And I was like, what the hell? And I touched my head up here and I looked and it's blood. So I grabbed the towel that I had in my hands. I put pressure in my head with a towel and I hid in the bathroom, the stool. And I just sat there, like, holding pressure. I was so scared. I was like, oh, my God, what the hell happened? So, right before uh, when I hit my head, I turned around at the moment I stepped out of the sauna. And guess where I hit my head? And the sprinkler. The sprinkler in the sauna was, like, in an awkward place in the middle. So, since I was told it was a little, the ceiling is low, and I was stepping down, it got caught in my head and I opened like a laceration right here. I have I had to like go home and I was like, I told my um, roommate to look at it. And he was like, oh no, you need, you need stitches. So it was like 9.30 PM. I was like, oh my God, I wanna go to the ER and wait there for hours. So my friend was like, go to um, patient first. So patient first was closing in like 30 minutes. So I like shower because I didn't want to like, I was, my hair was all sweaty and I wanted to like have fresh hair if I was going to get staples or s stitches because like, you know, you're not allowed to shower after that. So I shower and I got myself ready and my wound clean and I head to the patient first and they put three staples. I was like, uh, I don't want staples. I want stitches, but they were like, if you want stitches, it's gonna, I mean, stitches is gonna hurt. We're gonna have to inject numbing stuff in there, and then then you're gonna have to inject again, so it's gonna hurt more. And I was like, you know what, just do the staples. So now I have staples, uh, I have three staples here. I don't know if you can see it, probably, but. I'm gonna get it um, removed in a week. Um, I can probably ask a nurse on my unit because I work as a nurse. Um, so we have the staple remover removal kit. So I can just ask somebody at work to remove it. Anyways, I'm just happy it wasn't like my face because you know, it's expensive. So let's get to the unboxing. I'm so excited. Let's start with uh, for Love and Lemons. So I saw my favorite influencer, Kara 
wearing this cute top on her Instagram and she linked the top so of course I went and bought it. It was very expensive though. It was like one one thirty or something like that. So let's open her. Okay, so I got the large the size large I believe. Okay, so this is I'll have to link everything because I don't think I'm gonna be able to like this shirts don't come with names anymore. They just Okay, so how cute is this top? Mm. How cute is this top from Love and Lemons? Ah I'm so excited like to wear it with like some cute jeans and maybe like um I don't know like now that it's getting chilly maybe like um coat or something and boots. Ah, I'm so excited to wear this and try this on. I'll try it on for you guys later. Um, maybe I'll wear this tomorrow or DC during the day. Not sure, but it's so cute. And I'm excited to wear this. So next we have a freaking cute. It's this jacket. Camellia Coelho in the size XL. Ah, and it's going to be so cute. Like this is what the jacket looks like. And I'm so excited. Actually, I, I size up because I'm usually a large in jackets, but I did extra large just because I want it to be loose. And I can tell already this is perfect because it probably runs a size down because it's already like not even like that big. Okay, next we have this. Um, so I, I don't know if you noticed, but like I've seen a lot of like people wearing gloves. Um, this this lately like gloves so revolve put up a lot of gloves now for like to go with like your dresses your outfits so i saw this pink long sleeve gloves that i love and i had to get them because these are perfect for my um this little cute black dress with like feathers that i have and this these gloves are perfect for that they were like 50 dollars i believe but they're so cute you have to see this so cute. So this is by the brand uh, MBD. I love their brand. Um, I have so many pieces from them and they are all gorgeous and well made and they last forever because I still have all the pieces intact that I bought from them from last year. So let me try this on for you if I can put it over here. Let's see. So this is how it goes. How cute! It's my size, so that's good. But how cute is she? I love this. I can't wait to like use more gloves this this winter fall with my dresses, and it elevates your dress. It makes it more fun and cute, and they're very in um this season. So go you go and pick up yourself some gloves. They have some very beautiful gloves at um, Revolve and use my favorite link that I have linked on my bio. We have, I think this is like a dress that I got from them, like um, a fall dress to wear with boots. You know, like I might wear this today, one of the dresses that I got, because I need a dress for, um, I'm going to a pumpkin patch, like I said, and something cute to wear the pumpkin patch. So this is in the size large by lovers and friends and she is gorgeous but i am six feet one remember that so a lot of these dresses fit me up my ass and i don't like that because i want it to fit like i wanted it to be for like tall girls but i don't know if this is gonna be actually this dress is gonna be perfect this is gonna be perfect I can already tell it's perfect for me and because it's long enough where it's not gonna be on my ass. So I might wear this to the pumpkin patch today. Uh, another sweatshirt dress, sweater. I don't know, is that how you say it? Sweater dress? This is in the color beige, perfect for the fall. I love beige. And this is also in the size large. I never purchased anything from House of Harlow, 1960, so I'm excited. And this material is already feels so nice, and it's cute, and 
Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be long enough, but I will try it and let you know how it fits. But how cute are these sleeves? They're like ruffle and so gorgeous. Okay. This is a cute crop top dress. I mean, crop top shirt that I got. It's like a turtleneck with like a little open here. I could also wear this with some cute jeans and boots today. So maybe I would do that. So that way I don't, I save my dresses for like another occasion, like a better occasion. But this is in the size large and it's from Super Down. Super Down is another of my favorites. I love Super Down for Love and Lemons, Lovers and Friends, uh, Camellia Coelho. Those are my favorites from Revolve, um, NBD. And then House of Harlow now, if it fits me. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm trying on this House of Harlow dress. It's beautiful, as you can see, and gorgeous. But it is too short for me. Um, so I don't know. Like, it's definitely not, not like, look how short. Like, my ass is almost out. So do you think if I size up? It will fit better like should i do extra large would that even increase anything or the length this is the lovers and friends um sweater dress the black dress again it's so short i'm gonna have to return it like it's not even cute like it doesn't even look cute short you know so i wanted to put on real quick the camila coelho jacket it's so freaking cute i'm definitely keeping this one with like some jeans Whatever you want to be honest, but it's so freaking cute and it's like literally a statement, it's different. No one's seen this before. Blue puffs, like hello. Okay guys, so this is the cute um top from Super Down. I think I'm gonna keep this one because this it wasn't even that expensive. It was like affordable. And it's cute to go with like my, my boots. So this boots are from uh Store Witzman, I think that's how you pronounce it, or Store Witzman. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I show you this in a blog last year. Um, and I'm trying to wear them more because I paid so much for them. <laughs> and I'm not really like the biggest fan of them, but you know what? I'm slowly growing into them. So this is the look with my Valentino belt. And I'm going to pair it with um, a vest. Let me show you and let me know what you think. So this is the vest. I think it's cute. And it's kind of chilly outside it's in the 60s. So, what do you think? And I also flipped my hair to the other side because, I don't know, I can't get used to my hair being divided like this. I think it looks better more this way. But we are ready, I think. I'm just gonna put some color on my lips and that's it. So this is another jacket that I got from um, Nordstrom. It's the brand by Barrow, Barrow Moda. I'll link it here in my bio. But she's cute too, but it's too much for a form, I think. So leather and it snatches your waist with this little cute belt. So it's gorgeous. Just wanted to show you. Cider donuts and they're like actually fresh fresh. They just came out of the oven. Hello, it's 
Saturday. We are about to head to Washington, D.C. for a fun girls trip. One of our members quit, so it's just two of us. She was canceled, actually. She can We canceled you on her. We canceled her. Oh, God. This is the worst part about backing up. So I live in, like, a little drive. I park in, like, a very narrow driveway, so I have to, like, suffer every time. What are we doing? Tell them. We are, we made a reservation in this really cute restaurant. In Washington? In Washington. We're staying at the wharf for only one night. Yes, and, I've never um, been there. Me too. It's supposed to be like this nice waterfront area in Washington, yes. D.C. And we're going to show you everything. One of my really good friends told us about this. So I'm so excited. Yeah, I've actually been watching about the wharf for a while. But I never really thought about staying there. Yeah. But we're going to do it tonight. And it was going to be so much fun. I have two outfits that I could wear tonight. So I'm bringing both of them. But I want to be sexy tonight. Because I've been overdressed lately. Even my mom said that I'm like dressing too drama-ish. No, grandma-ish. <laughs> so she said that too. Yeah, she said, she said too. I've been dressing that's too grandma-ish. So that's tonight, so I'm going to show her what sexy is. So it should be an hour drive and it should be a fun little drive. We're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna put shit. We're gonna put our stuff <laughs> away. I mean we're gonna put our stuff on the at the front desk and then we're gonna head to do some little shopping. Yes. We're both wearing our aloe jackets that we Sharp got from Aloe Yoga obviously. Oh the Sharpa jacket, yes. She ha I have I had the, the beige one that you've seen in my blogs before. And Kim bought the white one, so we're matching. Yeah. And I'm wearing my Like a Cloud top from Lululemon. I love this top. It feels like a cloud. Do you feel like you're in the cloud right now? Yes, I do. I feel like I'm in a cloud. Well, my boobs feel like they're in a cloud. See? So nice. And I'm sweaty because we've been running around. And it's actually chill, chilly. How do you say it? Yeah, it's a little chilly. Chilly, right but we've been running around in this Sherpa jacket, so I'm sweating now. <laughs> so we have to take it off. We so just we're really wanted to the really bag. Yeah, so what's your fit today, Mama? I'm just wearing a very basic leggings because I'm a basic bitch. Yeah. So but we like um, we're gonna surf face tonight. Well you <laughs> always surf face and hair. I'm about I'm about I'm about to surf hair tonight because she's doing my hair. Yes, I'm so excited to do your hair. Are you, do you want my do you want the Kimi hair? Yes I do. So I just let my hair air dry as because I have the staples in my head like I told you yesterday. And we're gonna have so much fun, so come with us. Intercontinental IG at the wharf. So here's we are with our Sherpa jackets. We got a free bottle of water from our sponsors. Thank you so much, sponsors. Thank you so much, whoever this is. Oh, with compliment compliments. So why is he not working? We weren't gonna change and we were gonna just wear this out to brunch. Why is he not working? You need, you need to scan the key, mama. Too much technology for the Filipinas. I did. <laughs> so we're gonna like I think everyone it's a really cute area so I think we're just gonna change our fits. It's not working and yet. look cuter for brunch. So we're about to do a room reveal. 831 is where we're staying and then they're kind of not to the work. Let's check it out. Holy Shot. This is cute. Obviously, I get this bed by the by the view. Oh my god, la vie, honey, la vie, la vie. Oh my god, this is so cute. We have such a good room with this beautiful view. How gorgeous! And we were thinking about maybe eating there at. Mi Vida or Ilili, I think is that place right there. So it's between those two. So we'll see which one's better. Say hi. Ooh. So 
so let me show you the bathroom how cute we have a huge mirror we need that toilet a little makeup room hello oh it's cute so cute we're gonna take so many cute pictures here she's already ready in one second guys we are ready i'm ready with my cute top this one is from um love and lemons it was a little pricey but it was cute and it pushes your breasts together your boobs together and it has like a little corset zipper here and what are you wearing i'm wearing the dress from i'm not sure the name oh, oh, to go. but it's from bright side this is from top shop this jeans and this is my uh celine belt i fucking love her we are ready let's go get some brunch okay, and drinks That's the restaurant that I was talking about. Guys, the restaurant closes between 2 and 5, so it sucks. So we gotta keep looking for another place. So sad. Do you wanna see if we can sit out here? Yeah, you like So we came to this place called Mi Vida. It's like a Mexican place, but we got a cute table next to the water, so it's nice. Oh. Cheers! Oh, she got, I got a jalapeno and you got a watermelon. It's really good. So good. Guys, I am ready for tonight. Uh, I'm wearing my MBD um, corset. It's so fucking cute. And my, I think this is skirt from like, I don't know. I think it's like from H&M or something. But this is the look. How cute is it? And my Christian Dior necklace. So cute. Hey guys, we are back. Today is Monday and I wanna I wanted to close the, um, the weekend vlog with a surprise that I got for myself. So I was on the real real and I'm always looking at shoes. Um, I wear size 12 so I have big feet so it's hard for me to find shoes all the time. So I'm always like looking at the real real under size 12 to see what what what's gonna what new stuff that they're gonna have. So I found this Jimmy shoe. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, they are so freaking gorgeous. They are silver, and they're like, they have like the, the diamonds or um, rhinestones at the corner of um, the heel. It's so pretty, and I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna unpack it with you. So here it is. So here's the real, real authenticated just for you. So. Oh, I'm excited. Been waiting for this for a week. But how gorgeous is she? Like, oh my god, look how beautiful. And she's obviously used, but it doesn't look as bad. Like, obviously, it looks brand new to me. Obviously, the soles are a little worn, but. It looks so fucking pretty. Ah, it has the Jimmy Shoe logo in there. And I think this this heel originally cost like a thousand dollars probably because all their shoes cost like a thousand dollars. But how gorgeous. Oh my god. And I think I'm gonna wear this when I go to New York City in a couple of weeks with my mom for her birthday. And I'm thinking like we're gonna do like a um a, we're gonna celebrate my birthday and her birthday at the same weekend because her birthday weekend is coming up October 13th and mine is the 29th for both she's Libra and I'm a Scorpio so we're both gonna celebrate our weekend in New York City I booked like a really nice hotel so I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this with my cute feather black dress that I have and like my pink gloves it's gonna be really cute and fancy and I cannot wait and I wanted to end the weekend vlog here I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on my next vlog. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment below, and subscribe to my Instagram at Nina Patron 89. I love you. Mwah.